And that right there, guys, I call that the dance breaker. You just uh, press escape, turn your auto attacks off, and you just dance on the wave. Arthio ends the game. Keep, keep fucking stalling their backs. Stall the backs. Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Arthia! I was uprooting towns when your elders were crawling. An enemy has been slain.
They're wild. I will guide them. The storm gathers, and I Thanks, the sky. Will not falter. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Weakling! Turret plating will fall soon. That's 
That right there, guys. I call that the dance breaker playstyle. So basically, all you have to do is just go um, Sunfire into um, Ionia. And basically, what you're doing is you're reducing the, the cooldown on your teleport, right? And you got Hexa Flash. So if you go, if you use your Flash, you got Hexa Flash. And basically, what you want to do is proxy and go behind the second tower and proxy and then you can uh hexa flash over into the the base and proxy in the base and after you get that wave 
recall because most likely they're going to go back and try to kill you. So you can waste people's time that way. And it's, it's a lot of fun. And you just uh, press escape, turn your auto attacks off, and you just dance on the wave. And then um, with Iceborne, with the runes that I'm running, I'll explain in a minute. So we go Iceborne, you can go, you can go Radiant, you can go um, Hearthsteel, but Iceborne in particular, I'll explain. So anyway, after Mythic, you go Holebreaker, um, and then we want Thornmail, and the reason why is because we're just dancing on the enemy's wave. And um, Thorn, Thornmail works against minions, so the minions auto-attacking is just going to get... Uh, magic damage back to them and the nice thing about thorn mail it doesn't matter how far they are so you don't have to gather them up with like you do with sunfire so once you get thorn thorn mail you can just dance it doesn't matter how far the minions are so that's kind of nice there um, that's pretty much the build right so this is like the only build in my guide where I don't go Nashers or Titanic I just use the sunfire <laughs> Um, as you can see, you know, Garen couldn't do anything. He couldn't save his tower. Um, Evelyn was a bit of a challenge because she can just sneak up on you. Um, so that was a little tough. But overall, uh, you know, this strategy is a lot of fun to play. You can see the tower damage. We're putting pressure on the map. Uh, my team was doing a good job of that as well. But the runes, basically, with the Hexaflash. Um, and then, you know, once the second tower is down, you know, it doesn't matter. And, of course, if you have the um, the portals, you know, the Hex portals or whatever, that's a lot more fun. Because once you proxy behind there and you clear that wave, you can just portal back and, you know, maybe take some monsters or whatever and then... You know, you can proxy behind the, the wave again and using the Hexa fla Flash Traptation or whatever. Um, and then Approach Velocity is the reason why we're going with Iceborne. So the reason why I call it Dance Breaker is because you gain a movement speed every time you Q, you E, and you R. Any, uh, you know, CC that you apply. So Iceborne works with a W. The W is the only thing that doesn't proc this unless you have slow. So that's the reason why we go Iceborne mostly. But you can go Radiant, you can go Hard Steel. So it's a lot of fun. So this is basically a proxy type play style. So that's why I call it the Dancing Bear. You should turn that auto attack off and just dance on the enemy right. 